Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in this world. This is beautiful J. Antelo Tori, and I believe in the saying that I am small but terrible. So guys, I just want to share to you how to cope with grief after losing your loved one during COVID-19 pandemic. As we all know, that COVID-19 has dramatically altered everyone's daily lives, including on how people grieve the loss of a loved one. Just like me, I lost my mother during pandemic, and telling the death of my mother is the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. I wish I could say one day, it is easier to wake up and you will feel holy can't. But I can't. You will wish you were dead at a times. Not because you hate life, but because you want so badly to say your mother again. There will be days that you cannot get out of bed. There will be days that you don't want to smile. All that is okay. Having to experience of happy moments without your mother is the hardest and the toughest part. And you will experience happy occasion that is almost impossible to force through without crying because she should be that. And missing your mother is something that you will feel in every moment of every day, even when you're happy. It is hard to try and move forward with your life if your best friend and your biggest supporter and defender is gone. You will always miss her. Take your time to feel the emotion and that's okay. The important thing is that you should keep time on yourself to process the loss and avoid being so hard on yourself. And no one could tell you what you feel. But you will be able to move forward when you are ready. You only need to learn to accept your feelings. And when or if your mother is anything like mine, she deserves to be missed. You will have a good time, but all of a sudden, you wish she was here. She was your mom. And you aren't crazy of feeling incomplete. Let yourself find peace. And always remember that she loves you with fear and endless love. So there are things that you need to do to cope the grief after losing a loved one. First thing you need to do is grieve at your own. In your own time, find a quiet place to be alone and say your goodbyes. Say whatever you want to say as if they were still there. Cry as much as you can because all these feelings 
that come from a grief is part of being human. Don't let anyone tell you what to feel because your grief is your own and no one else can tell you when is the time to move on or get over it. So feel whatever you want to feel without embarrassment and judgment. The second thing you need to do is stay connected. Seeking help from the people you trust the most is so important even it's only true. Home. Because nobody should be alone during a time of grief. When you're telling the loss of your loved one, you may need to or you may want to spend all of the time alone and that is okay to have some time alone for a while. But eventually, you need to talk a family member. Talking to a family member can be one of the best ways of finding support and this will help you to ease the pain and make you help better and the third thing you need to do the third is the acceptance this is so important because in this stage of recovery in which we find ways to accept the loss and reinvest best in other parts of our life no matter typical it is or no matter typical it sounds but the only thought of life is that feel the grief and the pain when you lose someone you love. But remember that life goes on even after the person you love has passed away. So accept this reality as soon as you can because the more time that you will take in letting go of your loved one, the more difficult it will be for you to go on with your life. The poor thing that you need to do is take care of yourself. In this, you need to do the things that you normally love. This is so important that you will go back to your favorite activities so you will be close to feeling whole again. You need to take care of yourself during your grief. Make an effort to educate nutrition, sleep, and exercise even if it's difficult to do so. Learn to meditate and relax your mind. Avoid alcohol. Avoid the things that will numb your feelings. Instead, do the things that will help you come out the bad feeling inside of you. This will help you ease the pain. The fifth thing is remember your loved one. Cry if you must, but learn to carry on by remembering them with a smile. That's what he would want it, and that's what you want to be remembered as well. Honor your loved one. By thinking all the good and happy moments that you created together. Once you accept this reality, think about the memories that you created with your loved one. They may not be physically present with you, but they will continue to be alive in the memories that you created together. In time, you'll realize that they may no longer physically present with you, but they will always be alive in our hearts. And 
leading all the good memories it stay with you forever is all that matters and that will ultimately bring you peace the sixth the sixth thing is move on this is the hardest thing to do and to hear but as the saying the show must go on our life doesn't wait for anyone one day the reality will sink in and one will move on the loss of someone we love is so depressing even we expect it to happen and even we know that death is part of our human existence moving on doesn't mean forgetting our loved one this is only about learning to live a full and a happy life even you miss of what you have lost this is about remembering and honoring the one that you love while also embracing the beauty and fullness of life that you is talking to live the most important thing that you need to do and the last thing that you need to do is have faith never lose faith hold on to hope trust in god always we all have our days when we feel we are helpless hopeless and we feel that we cannot survive but god knows how you are feeling because he loves you he mourns with you when you grieve he wants you to be happy. All you need to do is keep your faith in Him. And He's made that possible. We can find great healing, comfort, and peace in Jesus, our Savior. Jesus knows our pain because He feels it first. So, He can Heal us. Just have your faith. Thank you for watching. Please share this to your family and friends. This may help them a bit. Thank you.